Hello, Annie Cod here, and in today's video I thought I'd go through the elevator and how it works. I had a lot of questions after the video last week with the escape room where I used the elevator and a button to call the elevator there. So I thought now's probably the best opportunity to actually make a dedicated video based on this. So let's get straight into it. Now, the elevator or lift, depending where you come from, costs five high qual, 300 metal frags and three gears. It is quite strong in the sense that it costs more than 2c4 to destroy however one thing to take into account is if you have got a five or six story elevator and you destroy the bottom bit you will lose every single shaft because it will all come crashing down now to place the elevator you do need a hole already in the floor for example you can see here i've just got a solid floor and it doesn't matter if you place an elevator above or below you can't go through the floor i know it sounds obvious but you do actually need a cut out like I'm showing you right here. You can rotate it with R. It does take up one full foundation block. Make sure you've got enough space. And then all you have to do is stack them on top of each other. And it's as simple as that. So when you stack them, the motors will always be right at the top of the very stack. This is important in a minute because I'll show you why. And you do need a way to call the elevator back down. Now there's two calling points on every elevator shaft. One at the front and one in the opposite back corner so all you need to do is make sure again you don't have to use buttons you can use switches you can use lots of other things i'll show you an example build later on make sure the button's powered up and make sure the out goes into the call and as i mentioned with the motors before you need to make sure that you've got some sort of power source near the top end for example if you've got a six elevator shaft which is the maximum you can have by the way and you've got a battery on the bottom floor you're going to really struggle getting the power up there so once you've connected it to the motor run down put some power in it and you will see lighting coming from the shaft and that shows that it's powered obviously you can put a switch in between this so you can turn the elevator on and off depending if you want to use it or not but then once you call it the elevator will go to that floor there's also some buttons so you can go up and down manually, but that's pretty much the basic workings. So if you understand this, then you can have some cracking times with this thing in Rust. Now, there is a couple of things you can do to make your life a little bit easier. Here's just one example. You can put RF receivers out. Again, make sure they're completely wired up. And if you wire them up to the elevator calling point, when the RF receiver receives the correct frequency, it will put power to the call point powering the elevator to stop at that floor I hope that makes sense if not I'm going to show you anyway but there's a million different ways you can set these elevators up and this is just one of them now again make sure everything's got power this looks really complicated don't worry I'm just <laughs> I've just been playing around with it so don't panic too much um, I will no click because it's a little bit quicker and once everything's powered and ready to go all you have to do is make sure the RF receiver is set to the correct frequency for example I've got floor one as frequency one, two, two, three, three, and four, four. So all you have to do is set your transmitter to any floor you want to go to, and there you go. Now you can put small vehicles and horses and such inside the elevator. So I'm not sure why you'd want to, but you can get horses now upstairs in your bases without having to take them upstairs. Now I did mention earlier that the maximum height you can put elevator shafts is six. So I know what you're thinking, well, what if your base is higher than six stories? Well, first of all, you don't need it any higher than six, but say, for example, you have, you can simply put it six high and then on the sixth floor, put another set of elevators six high again, again, put a little corridor running across and just keep doing that until you get to the maximum height, which I think is 20 blocks. I don't think you can get higher than that. However, you can actually build the elevators higher than 20 blocks. So as you can see here, we've pretty much hit the maximum maximum height now and we were still able to keep adding elevators right above the maximum limit again really not sure why you'd want a base this high unless you're the world's most epic roof camper but the option is there and remember what i said about making sure you can power these up i'm just using generators just for an example just to get them to work i'm not going to do anything fancy with them just connect them to some splitters get some power in and away we go so now i've put this video up there probably is going to be some roof campers watching this that's just had a really bright idea don't be that guy as you can see though right from the very top with the 16 times scope you can pretty much see the entire map so i hope this video explained to you how the lifts work or elevators i keep saying lifts i'm 
sorry. If there's anything else you want me to cover, feel free to leave it in the comments down below and I'll get right to it. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to give me a thumbs up. It makes me know I'm doing a good job. If you don't want to miss any more of these videos, hit the subscribe button. And if you enable the bell notification, you will be notified whenever a video releases, which is every Monday, by the way. You can follow me on Twitter to see what I'm currently working on. If you follow me on Instagram, you can see a video's thumbnail before the video's even released. So it's a little bit of a bonus for you. If you've watched this far, let me know you're a legend down in the comments below and I'll give you a little heart for your trouble. And again, really appreciate it. Thank you and see you in the next video.